uh, we are commemorating Youth Day. Uh, uprising obviously happened 47 years ago today. And our, my colleague, Cindy Mabe, is out in Soweto in Vilagazi Street at Sakumzi Restaurant. She has been speaking to much earlier on. Perhaps you missed it and you've just joined us. Sipa Hot Sticks Mabuse, who himself was a young activist at the time, um, inspiring young people through his music and activism. And now we've moved the conversation along. I imagine there's other things that have transpired since. Uh, Cindy, what can you tell us? Thank you so much, William. And so what is happening now? Obviously, the sun is out. It's getting a little bit warmer. We're seeing more bustle uh, activity. As uh, Sakumzi was saying, in the next two hours, you're going to also experience international travelers who come here because it is a destination of choice. Uh, we're, not, we're here celebrating or commemorating the 47th anniversary of June 16. And it cannot be complete without the voice of Seth Mazibuko, who was the youngest student leader uh, of his time for the, uh, the student or South African Student Association. He joins us this morning. Yeah. Seth, always good to see you. And, and I'm not being disrespectful by not saying Babu Seth, because he's in Yes, how are you? Yes. How are you? Well, you know, I'm, uh, by the way, it was my birthday yesterday. Oh, happy birthday. <laughs> and it always happens like this that now, you know, I get to be actively involved when we're preparing for this and um, it is heavy on us and um, you know I always say to people I wonder if young people understand that some of us are still hurting they are still uh, we, we, there are some questions that are not answered why do you feel, feel that your hurt has not been validated you know whenever we talk about June 16 and you find the history of the system being distorted. You find young people being not given the true perspective. And my cry is that in this country we seem to be having a deliberate program of wanting to distort the history of black people. We started, you can go back, when you talk the 21st of March, which was Hero's Day, which was Shovel Day. It is something else now. It's called Human Rights Day. Why? Why have we closed the real history of that day? If you talk June 16, it's called Youth Day. Why? Don't say because it was led by youth. There were a lot of also adults that were here. And we still need the renaming of this day. We still need our young people to even understand, not put on school uniform and go for dance and drinking. We need this day when we say also we are hurting. Um, you know, uh, June 16th the day, after we're counting bodies, 288 of them at Paraguanath Hospital of children. The question that I asked myself, uh, when I was asked the question that time, what is it that you regret about June 16th? There was one answer I gave. And that was the answer that says the Hector Peterson who died, the Heston syndrome who died, today could be a grandmother or, or grandfather. And I always also say this, that uh, why did I lead young people only to be killed by their fathers? That sits, still sits, I'm still wet, you know, yeah. in pain, and I haven't yet, you know, got to accept that 288 yeah. children were killed and led by me. Yeah, why would you say there's a deliberate in a distortion of the history, especially if you look at the aspirations of the uh, what, uh, what our, our father, father of democracy had said, the need for reconciliation, to avoid a bloodbath yeah, and a, a potential this civil war. But there are people who are accepting that reconciliation. There are you know, I was hearing to this morning that um, actually when in Codessa, when Codessa was discussed none of the black parties even suggested june 16 as a holiday it was Buatha who actually said why do you seem to forget the day that should be embarrassing we've kissed and called we've kissed our enemies and called them the honorables and they are calling us something else they are treating us something else it is the mother that i left in a shack that is still in a shack you know i mean i'm, I'm in orlando east just across from here and i can assure you you, you wake up, you see children and adults still standing outside and all that. How do I get happy? When, when the oppression system or the uh, apartheid system was the common enemy, 
it was clearly identified and we, we all a master around that. Master around yeah. that. Who, what, what is an who uh, is the common enemy now for, for South Africans in our attempt, mm -hmm. you know, to create and a cohesive eco eco egalitarian system. Yeah. So so who is you the know, enemy? Any person who doesn't does continue the struggle that Solomon Khan said we water up with our blood is an enemy. I'm expecting that whoever is take, has taken over from the previous system should be making our young people to be enjoying the fruit of the tree of liberation that was watered with their blood, or at least enjoy the shade. Mm -hmm. And any person who deprive our children and our youth, that particular fruit and shade is a problem. Okay, here's the constitution, which is exactly supposed, supposed to be, to be the, the conduit, conduit that, that gives you the, the freedom of movement, the freedom of association, self-expression. We are here today, um, you know, enjoying those uh, kind of freedoms. We, is that where, not adequate? Where we just about the freedom? I mean, I'm about constitution. Mm -hmm. Where is our land? You're carrying a document, but you are not owning that land. Mm -hmm. You're carrying that to me. It, that constitution is a simple document, mm -hmm. and it's not giving me anything. Give me the land, let me feed my children, let me fill the country, yes. give me opportunities, let our children get those opportunities. That document is for those who went to Zondo Commission. Let Zondo deal with them. All right, Seth, let's, you've also got young people. Got, just yes. very quickly, we, we just introduce us to... Um, that's one of our brigades. We have, yeah. um, as, 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 as June 16 Development Foundation, we have youth brigades that are out there working in the community. All right. So, so tell us, uh, Pili, keep your, your name and, and surname and just your, the work that you do into camera, inspiring young people for June 16. Uh, my name is Pimelo William Lesijani. I'm one of the brigades at June 16. Uh, we are led by Ndate uh, Seth Masibugo. It's a privilege and an honor to be led by him. Um, because we get to learn firsthand um, how 1976 affected him. Last night he said uh, passionately that we need to stop talking and talking and start doing. Get out of the uh, bedroom and start um, going to the boardrooms because we are the change that we need to see. They fought for the 1976 and they made an impact without technology. And right now we do have access to technology and everything that um, we can use to make a change. Um, so we need to be active. That's one of the things he's very passionate about. And my work at Jude 16 is basically to take care of the social media platforms, make sure that communication is fine with Braseth. And yeah, in a nutshell, that's what I do. And we also conduct uh, programs in the seven schools around Orlando uh, where we do um, education in school and out of school programs with Braseth. Yeah. All right, thank, thank, you. thank you so much. Uh, we'll continue the discussion, I hope, uh, maybe in days to come. Happy belated birthday. And, and also to also give us a sense that everybody's pain, trauma, bitterness, resentment, fear, all of that has a right to exist, okay? Yes. While we try and re-engineer South Africa that we deserve. Yes. So really, yes. thank you uh, indeed. And you at home, thank you for watching. Uh, I suppose, happy June 16, as it were, Mzansi, from myself and the technical crew here at Vilagazi Street, Sakum no, Sakumzi Restaurant. Be abundantly blessed and thank you for joining us. Cheers for now. Thank you so much, Cindy. Live to us from Vilagazi Street at Sakumzi Restaurant. Uh, happy birthday, Ndate Seth Mazibugo. Um, obviously, if you, were, if you missed the conversation earlier on with Sakumzi Makubela, who runs and owns Sakumzi Restaurant in Vilagazi Street, uh, he was mentioning the economy that exists within that precinct that the South African rand uh, circulates within the Orlando community a number of times before it leaves the township. So a lot of people, if you think um, outside of the box, the proverbial box as it were, uh, you can literally have some opportunities if you're a young person. Um, you can start a business and make a bit of money.